Hey guys, welcome to a quick demo on overclocking. Um, we're going to take this dual core E7200 from 2.5 gigs to around about 2.9. So we start off in the BIOS and we then go into the CPU configuration screen whereby we'll turn off all the automated systems whereby the processor will slow down or um, cut its speed uh, due to the speed step technology that Intel uses and the thermal throttling. Okay, now they're all disabled, we're going to go in and we're going to boost the speed of the processor by um, adjusting the frequency at which it runs at. Uh, this is also known as the clock. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to adjust the frequency of the CPU. We're not going to leave. We're not going to touch the PCI Express. Um, so we're just going to bump the uh, bump the CPU up to around about 310, which should give us uh, just under 2.9 gigahertz. Um, we're going to leave the um, ratio uh, the core ratio at 9.5, which is the maximum on the uh, the core two duos. So now we have the frequency that we want, um, and we've got the ratio that we want. We want to now change the voltages um, to make sure that the there is enough power to to go through the processor um, to keep it at that speed. So. What we're going to do is we're going to bypass all the memory issues, uh, all the memory options here, and we're going to go straight to the VTT voltage, which I'm going to set at 1.21, which is enough to keep this going all the way up to around about uh, 3.2 gigahertz. And we're going to have a look at uh, other voltages, which is the 1. Uh, the 1.5 volt. Um, which really, there's only two options. Um, we don't need any more going through um, than there already is. So you can set it at um, plus 1.25, uh, sorry, 125 or plus 6, uh, 625, but we're just going to leave it at auto um, because there's no need to do that. And then we're going to exit and restart. So we'll go back into the BIOS and uh, you can see under the processor speed we have um, 2.89 um, GHz and that's the overclock. <laughs> 